Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, the cause of the Bill Cosby case was slowly fading into the background. There hadn't been anything new to report in quite a while. And here in America, when that happens, things slowly slip away from people's consciousness. And then all of a sudden, somehow or other, this deposition that Cosby did came out. And uh, if it weren't enough that dozens of women have come forward accusing Bill Cosby of drugging and raping them, now his own words have pretty much convicted him. It doesn't matter that he may never face a jury. What he said on his deposition is enough. He went and got quaaludes to give to women so that he could have sex with them. Now, it's not unusual for people to take drugs and have sex together, but not downers. If you're going to have consensual sex with someone, the drugs that you would get are things like uh, various forms of speed, cocaine, maybe even hallucinogens. Not depressants. Here's the thing. Cosby could have found plenty of women to have sex with because he was Bill Cosby. He didn't need to drug women for that. He, he was a star. He was rich. He was famous. And there are some women who find that to be an irresistible combination. But Cosby wasn't interested in sex. He was interested in rape. He was interested in power, in control, in domination. And what is more powerful than having an unconscious woman in your clutches? Thanks for listening.